Thank you for coming back to my As Glow. Today I'll be doing my eyebrow routine. I'll be showing you guys how I put my brows together and I'll just be giving you tips along the way for those of you who are trying to learn how to do your eyebrows and for anyone who's interested in watching. So do stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off by shaping my brows. I usually do this every two weeks. I don't shape my brows um, every other day because it's so time consuming and my hair hasn't grown in as much. So this is about two weeks growth and this area is where I basically like to remove the hair right here. Um, as far as the rest of my brow, I don't feel like there's anywhere else I want to remove any hair, but you know, do what works for you and i'm just going to go ahead and use a tweezer i prefer to tweeze you can use whatever hair removal method you want if you want to wax if you want to thread um you can also have someone do this for you you can go to the salon i prefer to just do it by myself so i'm just going to start by removing the hair that is all around this area And I usually um, like hold up my brow area like this just to make it easier for me to see the hairs that I'm pulling out and I just find it less painful when I do this so yeah that's a tip you can use if you're tweezing and then I just have a fan brush on hand to just brush away any hairs that have fallen Okay, so I think I'm done tweezing this eyebrow. I don't want to go too far. Sometimes I like my brows a bit thinner, sometimes a bit thicker. I think I'll stop here for today and I'll just go ahead and disinfect my tweezer again. I had disinfected it before, so you just want to make sure that it's clean. And then for my brow bone, because it usually gets a bit swollen after I swollen after i tweeze so i'm going to use my rose water i feel like it just calms the area down and i'm going to use a cotton bud and just go over it and it just feels nice and soothing to that area the swelling usually goes down after a short while after i guess i'd say 13 to 20 minutes for me Okay, so that's it as far as shaping is concerned. So I'll just take my spoolie to see if there are any hairs I want to take out again. And yeah, that's basically how I shape my brows. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side and then we'll come back and fill them in. Okay, so now to fill in the brows, I usually do my brows after I do my base makeup. So my foundation, my powders, if you do yours before, you can go ahead and do that. Um, it's just my preference. And for filling in, I'll be using two pencils, Davis pencils, which I actually talked about in my beauty favorites video. And I'll be using in the number three and number one. So a dark brown and a black. So I'll also be using my spoolie or brow brush. I normally like interchange between the two. You can use whatever works for you. And basically I'll just be using them to brush up my brows. I like my brows, brow hairs standing up. And then I go ahead and start filling in. So I like outlining the brow first and then I fill it in. So I'll just go ahead and outline. Okay, so I've outlined my eyebrow and that's the shape I'm going for. I usually like a straight shape, um, but you can do whatever shape works for you. And then I'll go ahead and start feeling my brow in. So I'm using short strokes 
and this just gives a more natural look but when i get to the to the front of the brow the start of the brow i usually turn the pencil over and shade in this part so i actually don't put in um as strong strokes as i have the rest of my brow like right here i just go ahead and shade it in but if you want um to draw in the front of your brow you can go ahead and sharpen your brow pencil really sharp and then you know just like draw hairs and that way it will look more natural so as far as filling in my brow that's it when i'm going for a more natural brow look but sometimes i like um, having bolder brows especially when i do dramatic makeup looks and so i reach in for my number one pencil and it's a black so i know most people say um, you should only use a brown eyebrow pencil you should never use black um, i think it depends in my opinion it depends on one your preference whether you like um really natural light brows or you want bolder more prominent brows and also i think it depends on your skin tone because um, for me i can easily pull off a black eyebrow because i have a darker skin tone maybe if you have a lighter skin tone you might feel like it's too much but then again preference comes into play so when i'm using my black eyebrow pencil i just use it at the tail and I'm just going to fill in this area because this is where I have sparse, really sparse brow hairs. And I'm just going to fill in this section with the black. I don't go all the way to the front. And that's it I like how that turned out I also feel like when I shape my brows it's so much easier to just draw them on compared to when they are bushier so I'm going to go ahead and conceal and I'll be using my illegal pro concealer in the shade chestnut which is the same concealer I use on my face and an angled brush you can also use your foundation sometimes I use my foundation um, just use whatever works for you and i'm going to get some product and just apply it in that area and then once i've applied it i usually just blend it in And then to blend it in further, I use this flat brush and just go over the product. Okay, so I feel like my brow is looking really nice. And I'll go ahead and set the concealer with my highlighting powder. And I usually feel like after I do this step, some of the eyeshadow I may have placed is removed. So I just go ahead with this brush to blend everything back in. So the next thing I'll do is brush up my brows with a brow gel. This is actually a clear mascara and I'm just going to use it to brush up my eyebrows i feel like it helps them stay up because i like my brows brow hairs facing up 
So the final step I'm going to do, I don't do it all the time, but when I have my dramatic makeup looks on, I do it or when I just feel like it. And it's basically highlighting and I'm just going to use my highlighter and I'm going to place a tiny bit on the brow, just on the tail, underneath the tail end. And then I'm going to blend it in. So that's basically it. That's how I do my eyebrows. I'm going to fill in this other brow and then I'll be right back. So that's it. That's my complete eyebrow routine. I'd love to know what your brow routines look like, um, what brow shapes you go for, what pencils you use. Do you use pencils? Do you use pomades? Um, do you use eyebrow powders? So comment down below and let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.